Hey guys, this is Guitar for Shadow Water back with another card trick video. But this time it's a little bit different. This is mine and my friend's deck collection video. My friend here is called Rush. Hey guys! Okay, so as you can see, we've got a lot of cool stuff here and we're just dying to show you. Okay, so we're gonna start in the top left corner with the blue rider back decks. These ones look really nice, but I'm sure you probably have these. Next, two unopened blue rider backs. Then we have three all opened red rider backs and one unopened red one as well. Next, we have a Bundugary deck. This one is really cool. It's got a metallic ink and it makes it look amazing. It's really slick, kind of like the Steampunk deck. It's a bit slippery, but overall, the handling is pretty good. And this is one of my preferred decks. Next we have the tattoo deck. This one has a horrible handling, but really if you're a deck collector, you'll love this. It's got the most amazing design. Each suit is a different color, and that makes it all the better. Next we have Dan Harley's cartoon. This is a trick deck, but I really enjoy it. There's the cartoon 2, which is a different animation, but I prefer the cartoon 1. So if you're looking to get one of these trick decks, I suggest this one. Next we have the Raiders. There's a white Raider and a black Raider, both opened. And next we have the Carnival Doze deck. This is a one-sided deck, unfortunately. But it's got a really nice old kind of theme to it, sort of like the Illusionist 1800 series. But it's got an overall kind of a same handling as the Steampunk and the Von Duggery deck. Next we have the Alchemy 1977 England deck. Now this one I'm just going to take out for you to see. This is a really cool deck. It may not handle so well or fan it any well, but each and every card is different. And I really like that about this deck. It just, it's so engaging. The back of every card has a different design. And that's what makes it really cool. But if you're looking to do card tricks, I wouldn't suggest this deck. I'd suggest something more like the Bundugger. Next, we've got the Ultra Gaff deck. Now, for new people, those who are new to cards, you might think, what a waste of money. But overall, the Ultra Gaff is an amazing deck. And you can do so many tricks with it, fool your friends, and have a good time overall. Also... In a while, we will be releasing some tutorials to some of the Ultra Gaff tricks. So, if you're looking for any of those. Next, we've got the Bicycle Limited Edition White Deck. There's also a blue version, but I prefer the white one because it adds to the design and I think that it's much better. And the Bicycle Limited Edition deck handles amazingly well. Even after, what, three months, it'll fans amazingly. After that, we've got two arcane decks. They're both black, and they're both opened. I'd prefer the black one to the white one, because the black one gives it a more mysterious and deceptive look, which is what I was looking for when I bought the arcane deck. Next, I've got one of my favorite decks, the Artifice Green Emerald Version 2 decks. deck. Now, this has a white border to it, as, I can, as you can see, and I think that comparatively, it's better then the blue artifice deck, which is version 1 as you can see. The version 2's look much better in giant fans and overall. And I think that the green emerald looks better than the blue and maybe the red. After that we've got 1001 Aladdin decks. As you can see, the back designs are really good. Not one of my favorites, but one of my preferred ones. And they're the 1001 Aladdin deck. And they have a Linoid finish, like the Split Spades deck and the Tally Ho deck. Later, we've got B deck. It's my only B deck. Um, this is the normal club special B deck. And I think that the cards are really good for Pharaoh shuffles, but that's just my opinion. Next, we've got two ghost decks. One of them is the black one and the other one is the white one. I would say that you should get the white one because 
the white one makes it look all the better and also um, the black deck gets how do you say it gets scratched and you can see the scratches which make it look very unfashionable next we've got two green decks one of them is from magic makers inc so it's basically different from the green rider back deck as you can see and the backs or the fronts of the card are green whereas for the green rider back it's white and i think that the red co the red of the green rider back front contrasts really well with the back design which makes it look amazing and it's one of the one of my favorite decks in terms of looks Next we're continuing on with the mini tally ho decks. I don't think you've ever seen these before because throughout YouTube I haven't seen anyone do a review of these. These are personally one of my best mini decks, or rather my only mini decks. But they're really, really, like, for a mini deck, this is amazing. Because it will fan, like, horribly, but it still will fan, and it will spread. Like, the spread isn't too bad. Here, I'll show you one. On this and also they're really small and cute so I love them the spreads sure are amazing for a mini deck also to look at the box it just looks so much like the actual tally ho deck that it's really cool and I love this deck I also have two red ones all of them are opened so one blue and two reds Next, I'm continuing on with probably my favorite deck of all time, the Gargoyle deck. Now, I'm going to take this out because I really want to show you guys this. It's got a metallic ink, just like the Bundagri deck and the Steampunk deck. It's really cool. As you can see on the backs, it's got a silver. I'm not sure if you can see that. And it's also got a black design on the picture cards, which makes it all the better. And especially when you're showing people, it's amazing. Also, the pips are red, which makes it even better. And the back design isn't so bad either. So these are probably one of my favorite decks of all time. Next, we're going to continue on with the red standard decks. These, um, I would say, are worse than the rider backs because their ink isn't as full and the cards are a bit small compared. Next, we have the Levitating Card Deck. This isn't really an actual bicycle or any name branded deck. This is one of, um, sort of a, just a random deck made by some people. This, as it says, Levitating Cards, is actually a stripper deck but it's pretty cool it's bridge format next I have two airline decks these are just normal playing cards you can get anywhere and then in here I have a deck which is a bridge deck now I think they're a hundred percent plastic I'm not quite sure but if you're looking to do any gaff tricks where you have to break a card or something, I usually use this. Next, we've got some gimmicks. This is the improved floating match. It's very deceptive, and the new and improved version makes it look all the better. And you can even stick your finger right through and just make sure that it just stuns the audience overall. Here we have the knockout deck. Knockout deck is one of my favorite trick decks, apart from the Ultra Craft. But the knockout deck, the effect that happens is you spread a deck and it's all normal. But then you spread it again and it's the Queen of Hearts. And there's a couple other formats of this. You can change the color of the back. And it's just really cool because if you're performing on stage, it's an amazing trick. So I would suggest this. Next we've got the WOW deck. If you haven't seen the performance, you should go check it out right now. There are many performances on YouTube. And we probably will do a performance of this WoW deck upcoming soon. Next, we've got two invisible decks. One is mine and one is my friend's. And the invisible decks are a must-have.
for every magician out there because it just stuns the audience completely. Next we have a one of my favorite, other favorite trick decks. I'm going to take this one out. This is the David Blaine Split Saves series. But I have a friend who has the other two, but I really prefer this one because it's just amazing. Now I'm not going to show you how it's done because that would ruin it, but you have to get this if you're a magician who loves to perform. It's basically the marked deck, but it's a better version because it's more deceiving. And it's easier to perform. Yeah. Next we've got two decks, one blue and one red. Uh, these look very nice, but the handling is a bit like the card of, I mean, the cards, the tattoo decks. It's not so good, but these aren't any branded decks. But the reason I really like these decks is because, like all 100% plastic decks, they have a really nice stock to them, so they fan well if you're doing any tricks. Next Plus we've got a poker chip. This is always an amazing keychain, and it just looks very pleasing to the eye, in my opinion. And this is probably a trick some of you amateur magicians probably know about, and even those pro ones. I'm sure most of you have heard of this. This is the trick where you have a coin, a poker chip, with one side is black and the other side is white, and then you put it together and it changes color. And this was one of the first tricks I've ever gotten, and I really enjoyed it. I performed it on the street, and it was just really good. And uh, next we've got some tape. This is always, this always comes in handy for uh, an everyday magician. Scotch tape is an amazing brand. That I would suggest that. Next we have some of the essential tools, such as lighters, if you're going to perform that kind of trick, or matches, and these are just some fashion cards I made, so I kind of burnt holes in them to make them look old-fashioned, and I really enjoy this one. And we forgot to add, but another gimmick is the This Is Not Your Card gimmick. You have to check this out on Miss Mag 22s channel. Um, it's very we'll amazing. We'll put a link in the description so you can get there. Yeah. And, and here, I'm going to do this first one. Here we have, this is, okay, the reason I set these two decks out is because these are the two best handling decks of all time. In our opinion. These decks get better as they grow. These are two of my oldest decks, and they're still fan of the split spades is one of my favorites. It looks really nice. I like the red one. But even after, say, maybe one and a half years, it still fans amazingly. And it still looks amazing. And next we've got the Bicycle Masters deck. This is a must-have for every one of you. Because it just looks like the blue rider back, but it's a bit lighter. And it fans absolutely amazing. The handling is so good. It's called the Air V, uh, sorry, Air, something like that, Airflow Finish. Yeah. UV 500 Airflow Finish. And it's absolutely amazing. The spreads just feel so nice to your hands. And, and last, we have a card case. case. For this the ghost deck, as you can see, it fits perfectly. On the white one. And the Ace of Spades just contrasts. And that's pretty much it. Maybe we should do an overview. And also we've got the mat. This mat is something you all need to stop your cards from scratching. We'll just get rushed to spread the split spades on this mat just to show you both how good the mat is and how good the split spades are. Now the split spades, when you fan them a bit further, spread. It looks really nice. And if they are, if you're like a professional spreader or someone who can spread really well, unlike me, it looks even better because these sides are all even and they look really good. It's one of my favorite decks. I think it's in the top two, also, both for look and handling. Another note: if you're gonna buy mat, if you want to buy mat, I would suggest to not buy one without the case. Because the casing for the mat is very important. You may not think it, but dust will collect wherever you keep it. 
and no matter how carefully you keep it, it will always get some dust, and that kind of ruins it. 15 minutes, and we're off. See you for next time.